Imagine a world where robots don't just look human, they also move, grip objects, and even think just like we do. From walking like a real person, to having a torso so human-like that it could almost fool you, that's just the start. Prepare yourselves because you're about to witness the new reality. A reality where robots are no longer just machines, but something far more extraordinary. Something that isn't any less than us humans. Engine AI's SE01. On the 24th of October, Engine AI unveiled its first full-size humanoid robot, which quickly stood out in the industry for multiple reasons, but most importantly because of its end-to-end -end neural network system that finally achieved the impossible in the world of robotics, achieving a natural human-like gait. It's time to say goodbye to the era of clunky and choppy steps of humanoids, because with SE01, the steps and strides of the robot are so smooth that if you didn't know any better, you'd think it's a human walking. But how did Engine AI achieve this lifelike gait? Well, it's the perfect blend of innovative technology and careful design. By integrating reinforcement learning and imitation learning into the system, the Engine AI team has developed a module that is harmonic and fine-tunes all the movements of SE01. With this, the team took a huge leap in the world of humanoid robots. Although the natural gait is its main selling point, there are some more features of SE01 that are also worth a mention, especially its amazing hardware, which includes dual processors from NVIDIA and Intel, along with three sets of high-precision stereo cameras. Thanks to this high-performance and cutting-edge hardware, the robot has a highly advanced visual neural network, which allows it to process any visual data around it in real time. In simpler words, this allows SE to fully perceive and interpret its surroundings in real time, thus enabling the robot to analyze and move around even in complex environments, whether it be in research-based educational settings or industrial applications that require manual labor, this hardware of SE01 makes it a suitable fit for any task. While we're on the topic of SE ones hardware, there's also the aerospace-grade aluminum alloy, which makes up its frame, which means the robot has a body that is strong yet lightweight. This not only increases its durability, but also extends the lifespan of its structure. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Also, it's this material that makes the robot achieve smooth movement without having to rely on traditional force sensors or actuators. So, not only is this reliable, but it also helps the Engine AI team keep their cost of production low. It's a win-win situation. What the future holds for SE01. Zhao Tongyang, the founder and CEO of Engine AI said, Our goal is to make robotics technology truly serve humanity. And through continuous deepening of technological innovation and market expansion, we aim to bring embodied intelligent robots into every aspect of life. This statement is truly where the Engine AI team aims to go with their SE01. Because this robot is not just a technological achievement for the company, it's actually a step towards their long-term vision of integrating robots seamlessly into daily human life. And by 2025, the company is aiming to produce and sell 1,000 units per year. Way to be ambitious, right? And the ambition doesn't end there. Looking ahead, the Engine AI team is planning to expand its product line even further. They're planning to introduce two different humanoid series, the PM series and PA series designed for home and industrial environments respectively. With these new series, the team aims to achieve a perfect balance between performance and practicality, which is a whole new achievement in the humanoid market. Fully functional robotic torso and hand. Next up, we have the fully functional and extremely human-like, maybe a bit too human-like robotic hand and torso from Clone Robotics. The Clone team is going all they can to make sure their humanoids don't just have human in the name, but also behave exactly like one. You can tell by watching this video of the robotic torso. Take a look at its movements. You can't tell me those aren't exactly like a human. Sure, it isn't a full humanoid body yet, but that doesn't make it any less impressive. Right now, we have the shoulders, the necks, and the arms, all of which move exactly like a human. That's because this torso is designed to mimic the human musculoskeletal system as much as it can, which means it has all the key joints present in our human body. The clone torso currently includes 124 muscles that are placed in the neck, shoulders, arms, chest, and the upper back. Not just that, but its spine is rigid with a hinge at the tailbone. In fact, the team has already developed biomimetic bones, a hydraulic powering supply, and some artificial muscles that will fuel the clone torso. It's amazing how the team has done their best to create a body as close to a human as technically possible. The attention to detail? Chef's kiss. Take a look at how good the torso looks. 
Moving on, I'm sure you've noticed this, but whenever we see robots in sci-fi movies, they always look like humans. The same features, the same movements, but up till now, all the humanoid robots we've seen in real life, they just don't follow that look. In fact, they're more like a fancy tin can with some human-like features. Well, not anymore. The robotic hand from Clone Robotics will change your mind. That was their main goal with this robot hand that looks exactly like it's a human hand with gray gloves on. It's crazy how the hand's movements are just as natural as an actual human hand, and how it can hold so many different items with complete ease. Take a look at these clips. A tennis ball? A saw? A glass bottle? You name it, and Clone's robot hand can hold it with complete accuracy. Of course, building something as amazing as this was obviously not an easy feat. In fact, it took the clone team many years to finally build and perfect this design in a way that it's light, cheap, fast, and durable, all while being human-like. And after several tests, the team finally launched their successful fully functioning robot hand. Now, the robot hand has 16 new muscles, which brings the total to 36 muscles, as compared to just 20 on the previous version. These 36 muscles help the robot hand have full 27 degrees of freedom, including all the joints in the thumb, just like our own human hand. However, the goal wasn't just to have smooth human-like movements. The clone team also focused majorly on downsizing parts to make the whole robotic hand compact in size. The team removed any metal elements from the muscle design and decreased the muscle diameter. Moreover, they also decreased the size of the valves up to two times to achieve a size of 26 grams, which significantly improves the durability of the hand from 500 cycles to an impressive 650,000 cycles or even more. The team has even redesigned the hand's bone structure so that it uses recycled and cheaply available materials, thus reducing the overall cost of the robot hand as well. While we're on the topic of downsizing, the clone team also applied it on the hydraulic powering system of the robot hand, which means the original size of 8.3 kilos for 20 valves was impressively reduced to 4.3 kilos, that too for 36 valves. Crazy downsizing, isn't it? This was pretty great because this made the hand suitable for mass production, and after the improvement and downsizing, now, the robot hand can pretty much function like a human hand, rotating its thumb, moving its fingers from left to right, swaying its wrist, Clone's robot hand can do all that and more. Take a look at the smooth movements in this video, and it's pretty amazing if you ask me, because I don't think we've ever seen a robotic hand this good. Future for Clone Robotics The overall end goal of Clone Robotics isn't to just build a humanoid, but rather a whole humanoid scheme and all body parts that will integrate together to create their final aim a synthetic human. They don't want a robot. They want technology that looks like a person and that behaves like a person down to every little detail. The torso and the hand are just the beginning. I, for one, can't wait for the whole body to be complete and demonstrated because with it, the clone team is aiming to build the world's first biomimetic, power-dense androids that have human-level hands to solve many common problems of our daily life. Atlas, the robot that works completely alone. Last, but very definitely not the least, we also have the very exciting Atlas, or the humanoid that can work autonomously and doesn't need a human for help. Developed by Boston Dynamics, Atlas is getting a whole lot of hype, and why wouldn't it? It's only the first robotic worker that can work solo and carry out any tasks that would normally need a human's hand or a human's decision-making. Up until now, most of the humanoids we've seen require a human to feed it instructions on where to go or what to do. Well, not Atlas. It actually figures out everything on its own. Think of it like you're learning to drive. At the start, whoever is teaching you tells you where to turn and what to do. That's how the other humanoids work. But once you get the hang of driving, you make your own decisions on where to go and how to control the car. That's Atlas. In the latest video that was shared to demo Atlas, we see the robot shuffling engine lids, interacting with configurations and accomplishing many tasks around a factory environment. No remote controls in the picture, just a robot moving around and making its decisions. Don't be mistaken, Atlas is not new in the game. In fact, the Boston team has been working on Atlas and revealing its progress for a while now. But earlier, the progress mainly focused on the movement of the robot. But in the recent update shared on the 30th of October, the team relabeled Atlas as the first autonomous robot in the game. To answer the question on everyone's minds, let's delve into how exactly the team managed to achieve this. Well, Atlas uses a machine learning vision model that can detect, see, and learn from its surroundings. After that, 
a grasping policy and continuous estimates of the object is used to make sure that the task is achieved successfully. It basically acts as a human. It sees its environment and moves accordingly. Even in the demo video shared by the team, we can see how Atlas has a somewhat fish-eye view, which provides a full view of its surroundings, so it can make decisions based on the exact interpretation of the environment and move around objects in a fully autonomous manner. Take a look at how it interprets the whole environment before making a decision on where to go. It's basically a human, but in a robotic body if you ask me. With this new development in Atlas, the Boston team essentially wanted people to know that humanoids in the real world is not just fiction, but rather, a reality. With this in mind, they developed a robot that is perfect for warehouses, factories, or any working environment where the work is rather monotonous. You don't have to give it step-by-step -step directions like other humanoids, but rather, you can direct it like you would a human. Just tell it to pick up an object and move it to a particular location, and that's enough. But wait, being autonomous is not the only new thing in Atlas. It's also fully electric now, which means the robot can move much more freely than ever before. Being an electric model means the robot is a lot smoother and less stiff. No more hydraulic systems making robots look clunky. With Atlas, I personally think we're a huge step closer to the robots we once only saw in movies. This update came just a week after Boston announced their partnership with Toyota Research Institute, which was aimed to advance general-purpose humanoids. Later, the company also announced Atlas going fully electric thanks to an investment from Hyundai. When Boston Dynamics uploaded the video of Atlas being autonomous, there were two types of comments. One, people appreciating the new autonomy and elasticity of the robot. Two, people being creeped out with how human-like robots are getting. And there's no doubt it's creepy. It's the future of technology we were scared of. But no matter what side you're on, you have to admit Boston Dynamics really took a massive leap in the world of robotics with Atlas. The future of autonomous humanoid robots. With the launch of a fully autonomous Atlas, a huge question was raised. What does the future of autonomous robots hold? Well, many companies are joining the race to develop the best one, but the most important competitor to Boston's Atlas is Tesla's Optimus, a robot that is capable of completing tasks that require thinking and strength, due to which it can apparently aid in many dangerous and repetitive tasks, including manufacturing. Of course, Optimus is still a step behind Atlas, as it can't yet fully solo unlike Atlas. But Tesla's longtime goal is to make Optimus fully autonomous. But other than Tesla, there's also other big companies like NVIDIA or One X that are in the running. From Engine AI's human-like movement to Clone's human-like hand, and finally, the fully autonomous Atlas, it's clear that we're entering a whole new era of humanoid robots. Sure, it's a bit creepy right now, but technology is always scary at first, isn't it? The future of humanoids is a bright one, and if you're interested in it, make sure to also check out my video on Tesla's Optimus, the 25K robot that could change your life. So, what do you think? The all-new humanoids creepy or exciting? Comment your opinion below and let's discuss. To know more about humanoids and where they're headed, hit subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't miss this journey.